everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to 100 Baby. You guys, we are here with Gracie and we have quite a few things that we need to do today. So in the last episode, we did have Nicole and Nellie actually age up. We had six freaking birthdays, you guys, in the last episode. So they ended up moving out and they actually went over with Molly and Mason. Oh, okay. They're off to school. Um, wait. Oh my gosh. Don't you miss school. <laughs> okay, so I did go ahead and make sure everybody completed all of their projects as well as their homework. So hopefully we will be able to possibly have Penelope age up today. And the good thing is we don't have any babies. So we're not really going to have to. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Okay, wait, are you? Okay, he's at school. So we're going to make sure that everybody study hard today or studies hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even talk. So we do have the little babies aged up. So we have Quinny and Quinn. They had a birthday in the last episode. They are adorable, you guys. They look exactly like Gracie with that red hair. So we are actually going to be having Gracie go over into Forgotten Hollow. So we're going to get Gracie to, um, we're going to go over here. Oh my gosh, where did those cards come from? Oh my god, they look homemade. Winterfest. Oh my god, they were actually made by Nicole. I kind of forgot about those. So, oh yeah, we need to change her outfit. So we want her to look a little bit fancier because we are going to Forgotten Hollow for a reason. Okay, we don't need to wear the tinfoil hat. Um, Let's do... I guess we could dress... Fancy. I feel like Vlad would really like that. We are going to go ahead and actually travel. So we're going to be going to Forgotten Hollow because it is the beginning of the day. So Vlad is actually not going to be able to come over and visit us. So we are going to go over to him. So the good thing is, you guys, we have actually been able to really... Oh my god, look at his sign. <gasps> Oh my God, he actually looks really cute. So we have over time, you guys, really been able to work on that relationship with Vlad, but it seems that every time we tried to have a baby with him, either his wife died or somebody in our family died or we were pregnant. So we've just never been really able to sit down or not sit down. We haven't really been able to focus. Vlad, Vlad, you've got to get in the house. It's freaking, okay, you need to, let's go knock on the door. Oh my God, you're gonna like spontaneously combust and we need to have a baby with you. Yeah, get out of the sun, get your umbrella going. Let us in the house because we kind of have some plans for you. Okay, come on in. So Vlad, let's go over and we're gonna kiss Vlad's hands. So as you can see, we do have a really good relationship status. We are lovebirds with Vlad. So we have had a lot of time to kind of like get things going with him. Um, let's go over to romance, see if we can try for a baby. So um, the last time we also had a family member, you guys, that passed away and Vlad just really wasn't, or not Vlad, Gracie wasn't in the mood. Okay, now they are and this is his wife. So if you guys were here last couple of episodes, you would see that his wife just kind of dropped. <laughs> Rest in peace to his wife. Now, where's his son? Okay, his son is not home, so we're not really going to have to worry about him walking in or anything like that. And Vlad doesn't really look like he has a lot of energy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't think I've ever noticed how purple this room is. Oh, wow. Okay, so hopefully Gracie is going to become pregnant. So just to let you guys know how this works, if we do have a pregnancy with a vampire and our children are actually vampires... Instead of it being one child, it actually counts as two. And the good thing is Gracie actually has a lot of her vampire skill up just because from Caleb and Ken, we were able to really focus on them a little bit more. So I'm kind of nervous if she does become pregnant and we have a little girl of Gracie aging to an elder and the last girl to be a vampire just because that could be a little bit... um could be a little bit interesting. So just to give you guys also a rundown, Gracie only has 16 days left of becoming this challenge heir until the new one takes over. So I'm kind of nervous. Gracie is not pregnant. Oh my gosh, Vlad. Let's try for a baby with Vlad again. Poor Gracie. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. We're going to go back in. Oh gosh. Please, Vlad, give us a baby. So... 
I know that elder men can actually give babies, so I'm kind of hoping it has nothing to do with the fact he's an elder vampire. Please, Vlad. <laughs> the good thing is he is actually in a really good mood. I feel like this would have been almost impossible to complete if we invited Vlad over to our home. I think it's toddlers that he doesn't like. I don't know. He just doesn't seem to have a really good mood going on when we invite him over. And I actually don't mind Vlad's house. I kind of want to give this a little bit of a makeover. This would be a really amazing home for like a hundred baby as well. <laughs> There's just like so much space here. Okay. Did we, are we finished? I haven't seen fireworks. Hopefully we are still going to be pregnant. Oh my gosh. Come on, you guys. <laughs> we have a lot of love hearts. That is good. Let's go over and take another pregnancy test. Um, do you want to come cloud gaze at GeekCon? I'm sorry, Holly. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. Oh my gosh, is Vlad seriously growling at us? And we're feeling... <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Gracie is now expecting with Vlad. I knew it was going to happen. I definitely was a little bit, um, a little bit nervous. Let's see what he thinks. Let's give him the news. Um, oh my gosh. He's really excited. Okay, so Vlad actually wants to pass on his legacy. So I think he is actually really happy about this. And the good thing is Vlad's wife is actually like no longer here. I mean, he do, still does have his son. But we're going to have Gracie go home. Check on the toddlers that are there. And Gracie is now expecting our new bundle of joy. So like I said, you guys, I am really nervous for her to have a vampire baby. And especially nervous for her to actually have a girl because I do not think that would be a good idea for the heir that is going to be taking over to become a vampire. So, of course, with Gracie becoming pregnant, that means that you guys are going to need to start flooding out those comments once again because we are going to be needing a new baby name suggestion. Oh my gosh. I really wish we didn't have to like walk all through Forgotten Hollow to head home. <laughs> and across the bridge, even though it is really pretty here. So very excited for this to happen. So we do have two spaces available. Gracie is pregnant. So in case we do only have one more child, we definitely do need to have Gracie get working on some relationships for her next possible donor for um, having another baby. The gardener attended Quinn and Queenie. Okay, everybody is home. And Gracie, okay, we need to check on Quinn and Queenie just to see what we need to get working on their skills. So we need to get everything brought up to a level one. Um, we probably should work with Potty, I think. Wait, what about, okay, they're both level two Potty, so they still need quite a bit of things um, going on. Oh, wait, they're level two. Okay, so they can actually work on that by themselves. So I think what we will do is maybe do some flashcards with them. Are they outside? Everybody's out here. Okay. Gracie, you're going to come over. We are going to get practicing some movement flashcards. And the other kids should be home really soon as well. Parenting. Um, toddler care. Oh, gosh. Is it in friendly? What about you? Brighton day. Here we go. Flashcards. Teach basic needs. Okay, we're going to work on that. What time is it? Two o'clock. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, there's like projects everywhere here. And who freaking tipped this over? We're going to need to go pick this up. Going to be leaving this. Oh my gosh, it's kind of a little bit of a mess outside. Patchy, I haven't seen Patchy come to life today. Toddlers are outside. Gracie's hanging out. Okay, oh my god. They are so adorable, you guys. Look at little Quinn. I think she is honestly like one of the cutest little girls I have seen in 100 Baby. I think it's actually like super adorable that her whole entire outfit matches her hair. And oh my gosh. And then we have little Queenie coming over. She's like, what you doing? And oh, th they're going to have to pee. Okay. I'm going to have them go inside. We probably should have put a toddler potty outside just so that we don't have any accidents. And I guess you can come in and go potty ate a friend. Oh god, I probably should have helped that. Oliver stands his ground. He can't risk his own grade. Uh-oh, something to do with school. And let's check them out. So I definitely have my eyes peeled for Penelope. I am hoping that she will. Oh my god. She is an A student. Okay, grades are up. Penelope has been 
working hard and she is now a gray A student. And what are you? Ollie is a B. Oliver is a B. Okay, so we do need to have the boys kind of just get working on their homework. You can come in, get some leftovers. And do we have any cake? Let's see if we have, oh my gosh, I hope nobody ate. Oh, we don't have any. Okay, so we're going to have Gracie come inside and actually get working on cooking up a yummy birthday cake because we are actually going to be having a birthday today. And I kind of really actually wasn't expecting to, <laughs> to have a birthday today, but we are going to have her come in, get that ready. And we also have Oliver. You should probably get working on your homework as well. Oh, he's going to need to have some fun. So we might get him to go out, shoot some hoops. Maybe he could challenge. Oh my gosh, let's get him and Ollie to have a little bit of a challenge. Let's get them to do that first. And then I guess we could do a little bit of barbecuing. Oh my God, what happened here? <gasps> Did that actually get hit by lightning? Oh my God. Okay, let's do a little bit of grilling. Let's do some veggie burgers so we can't actually like have everybody come over and have some really good food. Look at Gracie. Oh my gosh. Okay, the toddlers are doing their potty. Did somebody call us? And second trimester is in 20 hours. We should probably put that away. Okay, so Gracie is going to get working on this. I think we are going to have Penelope come over. We can do some shapes. We'll get her to work on some creativity. Oh wait, can we not get to it? Make some crafts. Maybe we need to move it. She gonna go over. Okay, you can come here, sit down. Yeah, you come here, actually sit down. We're gonna have a conversation with Gracie because it is your birthday and I am so freaking excited for this. So I should probably also go over and check out the calendar and see what we have going on. So tomorrow we are getting rain talent showcase. Oh my gosh, okay. And Gracie, okay, so we are able to kind of work on communication. What are the toddlers doing? Okay, I was kind of nervous they were making a mess. <laughs> okay, so you are getting hungry. Let's have her come out. The toddlers probably should all come out. Oh my gosh, Gracie, add the candles on immediately. Add birthday candles. Gabe is wondering if I want to come over. So we're not going to be able to Believe go over right now. Oh, and we are going to have Penelope come over and blow out the candles. And then she can come back over, have her hamburger. And James is wondering if I want to meet him someplace. Oh my gosh, Penelope. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. And I do not have my phone. So we are going to try to randomize this on our own. So I am going to be closing my eyes just for this. Now, normally, you guys, I have been using Surrey to give us a randomized number. But for now, I don't have my phone. We are just going to be doing, oh gosh, okay, closing my eyes. And we have, no, <laughs> chief of mischief. Okay, Um. oh my gosh, and she has hot-headed. Penelope is going to be a nightmare of a child to kind of like take care of. So I'm going to be closing my eyes and we are going to be choosing another. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's get over here. So we need to choose a new trait for. Oh, my gosh, this is not working. We need Siri back. OK, so we're just going to be choosing a random one from in here and she is going to be. Oh, poor Penelope, you guys, I had bigger plans for Penelope. So Penelope is going to be chief of mischief. So this, this sim is all about pranks and mayhem. She is also disasterly, which means she performs stronger and more successful with mean interactions. She is also hot headed and jealous. Oh my gosh. I actually kind of want this outfit for her though. Okay, wait, let's put some birthday candles on just in case we have another birthday eventually. Oh my gosh, look at her little heart tights. I'm actually not mad about it. I might change her hair eventually just because I don't really love that vampire hair, but I do actually like the look that she has. What the heck? Why are you always so upset? Oh my God, and what is your problem, Oliver? Ollie, just sit down, get some food. Maybe he won the competition that they had going on outside. 
Okay, so Oliver, you're gonna need to actually work on some of your needs. So let's have him come in, use the toilet, and then get some leftovers, and he's gonna need to have fun. Okay, apparently, apparently the basketball net actually like didn't give any fun. So I guess he can go shoot around a little bit. Um, dream big. And Ollie, you are going to need to use the washroom as well. Take an angry poop. Yeah, you do that. Oh my gosh, we can also have him go upstairs. And he can actually like play an arcade game. So what about Penelope? Penelope should probably go upstairs, use as well. And oh my gosh, can we give her a makeover up in here? What about if we have Gracie offer a hairstyle to Penelope? Yes, this is what we need to do. Okay, the girls are really hungry. We need to kind of pay attention to them for a minute. Let's get you to eat hamburger and she can come in. Let's get her to have that hamburger as well. And Gracie, okay, leave that alone. We're going to be giving Penelope a little bit of a makeover, which I am definitely excited for. <laughs> because I feel like since we did add that little makeover station into the home, we haven't been able to use it. Oh, I bet you this is put in inventory. I bet you this is exactly why we can't get there. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Offer hairstyle to Penelope. Let's go upstairs, Gracie. We're going to have a little bit of bonding time with Penelope. So the good thing is we do have so many teens in our home, you guys, that we do not really need to do too much with the toddlers because we can get them to help. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? Why are you upset from having a mood swing? You are inexplicably enraged. Tough to be a team. Okay, you are fine. Wait, does she not want... Offer makeup. Ask for a hairstyle. I want to give you... Wait. Did I do this backwards? Oh, can we not get to it? Okay, wait a minute. We're going to move this. And... Where can we put it? Oh my gosh. Oh, because we're going to need to like go behind it. Okay, we're just going to put this in the hallway for now. We're going to change the color of this. Just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Let's do... Okay, this one's fine. So let's try this again. Let's go offer hairstyle to Penelope. That makes sense. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Why won't this work? We have this adorable little makeup station we need to be able to... Wait, what do you mean? Set color, offer makeup... What if we do? Okay, wait, what is going on that we can't sit there? Penelope, what are you doing? Offer hairstyle to Penelope. Don't tell me you can't get there because, oh my gosh, you guys, what is going on? Okay, we get it. We get it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we get it. You don't have to be so dramatic. We understand, Ali. Okay, we get it. So if you guys have any ideas why we're not able to get to the makeup station, let me know because I actually really don't know what is going on. So we're going to come down and, ooh, we are feeling inspired. Let's make a gourmet meal. Let's do a really big one of those. And then, of course, we're going to need to get leftovers. We also should have Gracie clean out this spoiled food. And, oh my gosh, you're hungry. Let's get some leftovers. And then we should definitely get working on that homework. And, Ollie, you're going to do your homework. Penelope, you are now a teen, so you now have some new homework to do as well. And, Quinn, okay, they're going to need to go to bed as soon as possible. Oh, she's already in bed and you need to go to sleep as soon as possible. Okay, you guys, well, that is where we are going to be wrapping up today's episode of 100 Baby. We have Penelope, who is going to be definitely a little bit of a struggle, I think, getting her kind of through those teen years. So we do have her who is now a teenager. We also have Gracie expecting a new baby. 
by Vlad, you guys. I am nervous about that. So make sure that you guys do start flooding out those comments with all of your baby name suggestions. Make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know you guys did enjoy. And hopefully I am gonna see you all next time. Bye guys.